Hello, welcome back to Brand Research Lab. In this episode, I will be sharing with you this uh, the breakdown of this kinetic sculpture. So basically, it was inspired by few videos that's shown online about kinetic sculpture. So this is basically just like a kind of like a curve that's been beveled, and I'm rotating it using geometry nodes. And the curve itself is coming from Sverchok. So it's a it's really just like a, imagine if it's like a curve being instance like a, around a circle and it's become like a cylinder and then you just kind of rotate the cylinder uh, edge you know it's it, it, you get something like this so let me try to break this down um, so the final object is this mesh that's rotating I can control the number of curve so it's rotating in all three axes that's why it's giving this kind of abstract look at any time in point I think I can just I can just mute it so it's gonna stop but I can make it rotating and I can control the radius so they are not really touching so it's more like yeah this is more like real kinetic sculpture they shouldn't be touching or overlapping right so the curve itself um, we need to observe it uh, you, we can start from the beginning I have line that's being subdivided um, and I'm using noise displays to displace the line so that's the start so I can control the length of the line itself and out, I output it as beta and there's another another line which is another curve which is a circle which is called gamma and this is the circle I can replace the circle with another line so whatever you like this will actually work as well so now instead of circle we have we have line if we turn off the cyclic and this thing actually can be solidified this is just another method could be interesting So let's just use circle for now. Turn on cyclic. And we can always adjust the scale of the circle anyway. So that's from Sverchok. That's generated procedurally. I can change the seed and change the scale. This is more interesting. So let's save this. The next thing I have here is to turn this turn this curve object into this. I'm using uh, geometry nodes, so you can see um, this is the original instance object. I actually have a bit of control here. I can use the seed to control the radius of the curve to mass object so this is like kind of like a beveled beveled curve the end is a bit open but uh, for now we just ignore it and finally we have this this is just a circle with control of the vertices and the radius and I have this align rotations to vector and I told it to align into the vector position of the circle this is the easy and fast way instead of instead of having something like this we align the rotations of the instance this way and then I rotate the point using time frame and then with multiplier so I can actually control the speed so 
So I'm rotating in all three axes. That's why we have this kind of abstract looking result and point instance the default Q. So finally we have this result. Pretty simple. Um, yeah, and then this is actually something that can be baked out and as an AR. I think this is yeah, I think pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with this. If we go back to our spectrum nodes, we can always make adjustment with the line. Control the, the size of the line. Number of vertices, so it's more it's more sophisticated looking because we have more line. And we can control the displacement amount. Yeah, this is actually looking a bit like flower, Rafflesia flower. It's probably how flower being created by alien. Who knows? Anyway, this is pretty cool. I think if you look at it from the top view, you can just leave this on as a Windows, uh, like as a screensaver and you know just leave it like that for whole day all right so hopefully you find this interesting let me know what you think and i'll see you next time thank you bye